Hi, I'm Steve Martinko from Contenders Tree and Lawn Specialist, and as a certified arborist, I love to save trees, especially when there's a proven method that completely eliminates the need for spraying. The days of spraying every tree for multiple problems are long over. Advances in science now provide controlling insects and diseases like never before. Since 2008, arborists across North America have been utilizing new technologies designed to dial in the results we need, and we are meeting those expectations. This Masonic temple, rich with history, dating back to 1876, is located in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Records indicate that this Austrian pine was planted when the lodge was built, making it the oldest Austrian pine we have ever injected. To our knowledge, nothing has ever been done to help this tree fight the disease it has been plagued with, and we're happy to have been the ones called in to save it. This site is wrought with many challenges. If you sprayed this tree, you risk damaging paint finishes on the cars. You also have to contend with a very unpredictable wind in a downtown district that has taller buildings surrounding us. How safe is it to spray a tree that measures over 70 feet tall with constant pedestrian traffic nearby? Let's first of all introduce you to Diplodia tip blight disease. From a distance you can easily see the damage and destruction caused by the disease as it continues to advance upward through the canopy. Traditionally arborists would treat this disease by spraying two times in the spring with a fungicide but sprays even under the best conditions for any pine tree rarely produce significant results. Looking closer at the needles, or candles as we prefer to say, you will see a crook in the candle stem. These crooks are evidence that Diplodia tip blight has infected this Austrian pine tree. In fact, so much infection has occurred over the years that entire branches are now dead. A disease like this takes years to kill a tree, so it is important to catch the problem early and treat it before major branch dieback has occurred. Our goal here is to stop the disease from spreading, allowing the live growth to sustain itself and thrive once again, reaching its full height potential of 120 feet. So in essence, we still have another 50 feet of foreseeable growth, and it is our job to make sure it is healthy. So how do we inject a pine tree? A tree trunk like this has so much sap and pressure inside that traditional capsules are limited in their ability to deliver accurately. This injection tool is specially designed and capable of delivering precise amounts of product at the right depth. These needles are specially designed for pine trees with, a four, with four small holes at the end, allowing the product to penetrate in multiple directions. With the fungicide positioned like an IV bag, we administer the proper dosage every four inches around the tree trunk's diameter. The back of the needle has a check valve that prevents pushback, ensuring the product stays inside the tree without leaking. As you can see, the injection tool has a quick connect fitting, allowing our arborists to efficiently work around the tree. Once the fungicide is now injected, we follow up with a potassium nutri booster that aids in the uptake of the fungicide, providing improved cell wall structure inside the needles. So as the demonstration shows, we are able to perform with accuracy regardless of weather conditions. We can logistically meet the needs without having to worry about people, pets, or open windows across the street. Another great benefit to injecting versus spraying is that this injection will last for two years, unlike spraying twice a year every season. Results will be first noticed the following summer after the spring humidity has triggered infections. Depending on severity, you can expect 60 to 90 percent control for the first two years. Control then increases between 80 and 95 percent in subsequent years on this injection cycle. When infection has been completely controlled, you may elect to inject only once every three to four years. It is worth mentioning that a healthy tree helps us deliver these results, so in this case we are also deep root feeding with a high concentration of seaweed kelp based organics. Deep root feeding is very important in this situation because we need to restore the canopy's density. So I have one question for you. If you knew you could inject your pine every few years instead of having it sprayed multiple times every year, would you consider the benefits of injecting to save your valuable tree? Please visit our website for more info or to request a consultation.